Now I came to a very unique place, just 19 miles west from St. Petersburg. This is an island which is called Kotlin, and that's where it's located the town of Kronstadt, the sea gates to St. Petersburg from the Baltics. Peter the Great founded this same time as St. Petersburg. Finally, it is turned to be a unique complex of 20, 20 fortifications that is located as on the Kotlin Islands as on the small man-made islands around like that one that was all about the artillery defense. This is one of those 20 forts, Fort Konstantin. All this forts, all this place, Kotlin Island, Kronstadt, it's a pretty interesting place and definitely it will uh, require a whole series of the videos about this place, definitely, especially in the summertime. But we can start already now with uh, going to the first lighthouse museum in Russia. Look, look, absolutely great picture. The sun and a fog. The lighthouse museum located in this former army barrack of uh, Fort Konstantin. It is built in 1868 and a nice place, historical place, to make the museum here. Mikhail, the founder of the museum, the Lighthouse Fan Lobby. It was made inside of 150 years army barrack. And even though it's renovated, the heating system is still the same. They heat it with a wooden stove. Anastasia, one of the girls who works here and makes everything, starting from heating the stove, finishing with an excellent tours for the visitors. Here, just for one minute, they will teach you how looking at the lighthouse, having a map and a ruler to understand where exactly you are in a sea. Scale models, one to three hundreds of the real lighthouses. This one from the left, it's Talbuchin Lighthouse, the first lighthouse in St. Petersburg, made by a decree of Peter the Great. Talbuchin Lighthouse, it is located just four miles from here in the Gulf of Finland, almost 300 years. Special kind of people works there definitely because they are working there for years, sometimes even for the whole life. The first lighthouse starts with a kerosene lamp, just like this one's. Many lamps like this were installed on the top of the lighthouses. After kerosene came the gas at Sicilian. And now we can see the heads. They are regulate the pressure. You know, such heads are getting connected to such a gas bags. On the top, the lamp with a lens. And this whole, let's see, a massive lighters. Look, the light is white, red, and green. That's because uh, these lights have the spectra which is going much longer than, let's say, uh, orange or, or blue or something. On the top, we can see a complicated construction that's to protect and in the same time to give a ventilation because Atitilien require ventilation. A military temporary lighters. You see they are fast to construct. That's one of the ways to understand that you're going the right way. If these two lights are matching each other, you're going right. Electric bulbs uh, lighters. Here they are. Fresnel lens, a small one, but there's a bigger ones like this. There was the time it has became a revolution because it is really increases the light so much. This is my iPhone and just the usual lighter and see what happens. Look, just from my iPhone iPhone usual lighter. Impressive, yeah? 
that is automatically was changing the bulbs. Look, it is just uh, moving, moving the bulbs until the electric chain will be finished. So that's how it works. The collection of uh, different lamps, bulbs. What came after the electric bulbs? Of course, LED. On this photograph, an LED lamp installed at one of the lighthouses. There's the rule that the lamps always, there's always a pair of lamps. One's active, one for reserve. Going to the second hole, and the main thing here is, of course, this huge Fresnel lens. Look, it is really like a human's eye. It was constructed in 1914. There is even a plaque that it is constructed in Paris in 1914 by Barbier Company. Almost 100 years it works in, works in St. Petersburg, successfully worked here. And now this is the most popular Soviet Fresnel lens ASA 500s here and here. This one has a window for the lighthouse man to make it easy to change the bulb or to clean the lens inside. What is this you think? It is somehow makes the birds uncomfortable to sit here so they are not sitting and not cheating there. We are going to the third hole. Where is the main lens to see? The Shans Brothers lens released in Great Britain in 1857 and there's an opinion that it is the first the first foreign lens in Russian Empire Somehow it is went through two world wars and finally we have it here in this unique lighthouse museum. It's pretty great, pretty great. I now told you just a little part about this museum, but many more interesting stories you can listen from the guide here. Welcome everybody to Constantin Fort and this museum. You will enjoy, guys. Yes.